Games can be very motivating as teaching tools, but one feature of games that helps maintain motivation over the long term and also teaches content more deeply is the narrative within the game. Stories give context to information and people remember things better that are learned in a practical context. Narrative in games allows players to apply knowledge in context and reflect on different aspects of their actions. Games can provide information just in time, which means at the point that players need it, and on demand, which means when players ask for it. For example, just-in-time information is giving a player a new skill right before they're going to need to use it, rather than giving them all the information at the beginning of the game, in a manual for instance, and expecting them to remember it when they need it during the game. Narrative allows players to become immersed in the gameplay experience, which encourages them to critically reflect and actively solve problems. Games provide a safe place to practice problem solving, because players can try over and over again until they succeed. We can differentiate between intrinsic game fantasy, the idea that the rules of gameplay are directly connected to the content of the game, and extrinsic game fantasy, which can be described by using a game template like Jeopardy or Hangman to insert any instructional content. In extrinsic games, the game challenges have only a shallow connection to the game fantasy, while intrinsic games have activities that are more seamlessly integrated with the narrative. Intrinsic fantasy shows how the knowledge can be used in the real world, as well as providing metaphors and analogies that help in both storage and retrieval of information. The researcher Malone proposed that intrinsic fantasies are therefore better instructional tools than extrinsic fantasies, but so far the literature reveals very little discussion or critique of this theory. I designed this study to test the effectiveness of intrinsic game design versus extrinsic game design. This study will look at whether games designed with intrinsic fantasies such as Civilization are more effective instructional tools than games designed with extrinsic fantasies such as Hangman. Data will be collected to answer the following two specific questions. Will students who play an educational game designed with an intrinsic fantasy learn more than students who play an educational game designed with an extrinsic fantasy? Will students who play an educational game designed with an intrinsic fantasy report higher levels of engagement with the learning content than students who play an educational game designed with an extrinsic fantasy? This study will use a quasi-experimental interrupted time series design. It will not be a true experimental study since the school and the class chosen cannot be randomized. The study will take a class of local fourth grade students learning fractions and randomly divide them into two groups. One group will be assigned to play a game designed to teach understanding of fractions that uses an intrinsic fantasy design, and the other group will be assigned to play a different version of the same game that uses an extrinsic fantasy design. The two versions of the game will be designed specifically for the study to ensure that they are identical other than the intrinsic-extrinsic fantasy. This way, any differences can be attributed to the differences in fantasy design rather than other game features. Both groups of students will be administered a pre- and post-test before and after gameplay. Scores will be compared between the two groups, and it is hypothesized that if both groups are indeed randomly assigned, there should be no significant difference between pre-test scores, but the group that plays the intrinsic fantasy game should have higher post-test scores than the other group. Students will also be administered a post-test survey to assess their engagement levels with learning fractions, and scores will be compared between the two groups. It is hypothesized that the group that plays the intrinsic fantasy game should show higher engagement than the control group. The means of the pre- and post-test scores of both groups will be used as a measure of central tendency, since we're dealing with interval data and have no reason to expect a skewed distribution of scores. The means of the pre-test for both groups will be compared, and the means of the post-test for both groups will be compared. Since scores are interval data, and since we're comparing the means, we'll use the t-test with a level of significance of 0.05. The t-test is a test of difference that can be used with any data, including interval data, and is appropriate for use when comparing two independent samples. The null hypothesis is that there will be no difference between the post-test scores of the two groups. Scores from the engagement survey, which will be a Likert scale, will be analyzed using the Pearson chi-score test to see if there is a correlation between the type of game played and student engagement. The Pearson chi-square is a test for measure of correlation and will show the degree of correlation between engagement with the learning content and design of the game. While a Likert scale technically produces ordinal data, it's often treated as interval for the sake of analysis. Therefore, in this case, the Pearson test is relevant.